Um, were you disappointed with, just to get a point from that game today, uh, are you disappointed with the performance and do you think we should have got more from it? I think on the first half performance we should have got more on it because I thought, <coughs> I thought we were way on top in the first half. Um, we had opportunities, we had, we had good opportunities in and around the box, we got the goal. Um, and we should have really gone on. I think it's their first shot on goal. I think it is. Yeah. To score the goal a minute, a minute before. Really, their only good chance in the game. I thought. Well, yeah, and, and it. obviously for that we defended poorly. That that was our making. We we defended, we defended really poorly. And, and like I say, it's disappointing when it's the last minute of the half, and and we have been so dominant. Um, and then the second half. The, Fair play to, to Warrington that, that, that came into the game. It was very stop start. Um, I thought that was helped by the referee because suddenly, from refereeing the game one way it, for 45 minutes, we see it quite a lot, don't we? The suddenly just ref it totally different the second half. It was virtually, it was virtually a non-contact spot. Yeah. Second <laughs> half, yeah. there was that many free kicks. It was, it was like. Anybody who wanted to fall on the ground, you got a free kick. Yeah. So we had to deal with that. But we, we just second half, we didn't ask enough questions. We yeah. we we look looked a little bit toothless going forward, uh, which is you know obviously a little bit frustrating because we're going down the slope with the wind. Yeah. You, <coughs> excuse me, we've got the wind second half, but we just didn't really create create a lot. We didn't really put enough pressure on them. Um, and on the football, on the football, we needed to be better, better at in and around the box on the yeah. football. I thought the lads put a great shift in. I thought we defended well. I thought we, did, like sir, I thought we yeah. defended really well throughout the game. We, we, we virtually had gave them nothing in the full game. But we switched off, like the same minute before half time, yeah. and we paid the price for it. Sure, yes. And of course, we saw Lewis Salmon uh, go down after only about twelve minutes. I think mm. it was really. Uh, what's the update on Louis? What's the doesn't what's look good. Right. Doesn't look good. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to get some forward. We're definitely gonna have to get some forward thinking players, especially in the wide areas. We're, we're gonna definitely have to get. We're gonna have to definitely get uh, at least one player in yeah. in that position because, um, like I say, we we uh, we're struggling for for forward thinking players, especially wide. So we need to get. But Louis will not be short term. It's such a shame because he started the game ever so well. He started the game ever so well. Um, he looked a threat as he always does, and it's such such a shame because he's had a great start to the season. He has, yeah. But it doesn't it doesn't look um, yeah, it's not going to be short term. And we saw Jordan Thewlis though warming up and mm. doing good training before the start. He looked if he's not too far away, Billy, on the better. On no, the no, on a better on a better course. He's, he, he's not. You know, <coughs> he shouldn't be too far away now. It's been a long period. It's been a long. It's been a long time for Jordan, so hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, um, it could be included next Saturday. Yeah. The problem is, is like I've said before, he's been out a long time as Jordan. Yeah. He's been out a long time, so. Um, but like I say, that's that's a plus. He should be coming back. And talking about next Saturday, of course, Macclesfield in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup, a big prize of a round uh, of a place in the first round proper. Mm -hmm. If we win. On paper, we've got a side from a lower division at home, but of course, in reality, Macclesfield will be a very tough opposition indeed. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! Um, you, you know, absolutely. It's it's yes, we're, we're one division above them, but when you look at what where they are as as, as a football club and and, and and the finances that they've got, it's um, yeah, it's it's that gulf is suddenly. Uh, Suddenly shortened quite dramatically, but like I say, we're at home. We said before we want we wanted the home draw. We've got the home draw. Yeah. Um, we've had a great start to the season down here, um, and it'll be an interesting game. Yeah, it will be a it'll be fascinating. Very interesting. It'll be an interesting game. It'll be it'll be one that hopefully we can progress because it's massively important. Like we said in the, yeah. in, in the last round, it's massively important financially for the club, and and, and not just financially. It's about winning another football match. So Jeff, so. And if we did get to the to the first round proper, then the finances really begin to start to uh, yeah, to well, add up, well, and that will make a big difference. Massively, to massively. But like I say, it's it's going to be an interesting game. They're a very very good side. 
um, with some really, really experienced and good, good footballers. So we look forward to it. Really look forward to next time. And we look forward to seeing it. Thank you very much, Billy. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks,